Hello everyone, you are welcome to Mathematics Tour. This is part 1 of paper 2 of Cambridge Lower Secondary Checkpoint Mathematics written in April 2024. If you are seeing this channel for the first time, please kindly subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Also, like, comment and share this video. Question 1. It will take 7 workers 6 days to pick some mangoes. Calculate how many workers are needed to pick these mangoes in 3 days. Okay, so if you look at the comparison, that is um, 7 workers implies 6 days. And that means one worker or a worker implies seven times six days, provided they are working at the same rate. So this would be uh, 42 days, okay? So it takes one worker 42 days to pick uh, those mangoes, okay? So how many workers are needed to pick these mangoes in three days? So that means we have to divide the 42 days by three days okay so this will give us 14 uh workers so that means 14 workers will pick uh, those mangoes in three days so let's go to number two calculate root of 54 divided by root 6 okay so we can write this as root 54 divided by root 6 and this is the same as square root of uh, 9 times 6 is 54 over square root of 6, okay, and you can split uh, 9 and 6, let them have different radical, so that is it will be equals to square root of 9 multiplied by square root of 6 over square root of 6, so square root of 6, you can see square root of 6, and square root of 9 gives 3, so the answer will be 3. Question 3. The mass of a baby is 4 kilograms. Each month, the mass of the baby increases by 15% of its mass from the previous month. Find the mass of the baby after 2 months. Okay, so you can do this using uh, different methods. So I'll show you two. So from this question, this is exponential growth. Okay, you can use the formula for exponential growth. Uh, that would be um y equals to um a uh b to the power of x okay so this is a okay so uh where y is the new value a is the uh, initial value y b in this case will be equals to one plus r that is the rate okay so if uh we are dealing with um um, exponential decay so this would be 1 minus r but for exponential growth so the value of b is 1 plus r and x is the duration of the period which is 2 months okay so here I can say that a is equals to the initial mass that is 4 kilograms excuse me <coughs> then uh, the rate R is equals to 15%, okay, so which is the same as 0 0.15, okay, then uh, B in this case will be 1 plus R, and the value of R is 0 0.15, so that means um, R, uh, B will be equals to 1 plus 0 0.15, and uh, this will be equals to 1.15 so this is b and x is equals to two months okay so now we can now substitute uh, all the parameters into this uh, formula so the new value will be y equals to a is a uh, four then multiplied by uh, b b is 1.15 then to the power of two raised to the power of two so this will give you the answer okay so if you input this into your calculator so you should get y to be equals to uh, 5.29 uh, kilograms so that will be the answer if you use this 
okay so don't forget that this is paper two you are allowed to use um, a calculator okay so this is the first method so another method is to calculate the uh, new mass of the uh, baby at the end of each uh, month okay so at the end of the first month okay so we're going to uh, uh, the mass of the baby will be this okay so let's say initially uh, it is at 100 at 100 percent so the mass is equals to four kilograms so at the end of the four first month okay so uh, the percentage will have increased by 15 percent so that means we need to get the value when it is 115 percent so we can call this m or be the mass of the baby so if you cross multiply you have 100 times 100 percent times m so you have um, 100 percent m okay then equals to four times 115 so that is four times 115 so to get the new value of the mass of the baby so we have to divide by 100 percent so we divide this by 100 percent as well okay so that the new mass of the baby after one month okay will be equals to so if you input this into your calculator so you should get 4.6 uh, kilogram okay so now at the end of the second month okay so the starting the new uh, mass of the baby will be at 100 percent again and that will be equals to this value 4.6 kilogram so after at the end it will now be uh, 115 okay so this will be the initial okay to be the starting mass of the baby okay for the second month okay and at the end of the uh, second month it will have increased by 15 percent so we're going to have 115 percent and you get the new value of the mass of the baby so you do the same thing you cross multiply so the value of m will be equals to so you have 4.6 times 115 okay so divided by 100 okay so you still get 5.29 so it should be 5.29 kilograms okay so this is uh, how to tackle the problem okay so let's go to the next question that will be question four in a game Oliver can either lose or draw or win so these are the three options this this or this okay so the probability uh, oliver loses the game is 50 percent the probability oliver draws the game is 70 percent work out the probability uh, oliver wins the game so the probability that oliver wins the game will be equals to 100 percent minus uh that's 100 percent minus uh the sum of these two that is the probability that he loses and draws so the sum of the two should be 50 percent and 20 percent okay so this will give you 100 uh, percent okay minus 70 uh, 70 percent okay so this will be 30 percent okay so the probability that it wins the game is 30 percent uh, which is the same as um, 0 0.3 okay so you can want to yeah, you may want to leave it as decimal okay so let's go to the next question that will be question five anesthesia has four fair spinners a b c and d so she spins one of the spinners 1200 times and gets an even uh 400 uh, even number 486 times write down the letter of the spinner she is most likely to have used okay so if you look at this one uh, the even and the odd numbers are um, even <laughs> that is uh, they have equal chances so this should be 50 50 so it cannot be this if you look at here uh, you have the odd so it could be this but let's confirm more so um, this we have uh, two numbers for evens okay you have two even numbers that is two and four so it cannot be this so the probability of even numbers should be greater than that of odd and since even is 486 out of 1200 
So that means it can't be this. So here we have uh, two even numbers, this and this. Okay. So this is also likely to be the answer too. So let's try to see the one that is very close. Although uh, for this one, the margin will be somehow far. Okay, because you just have three. Okay, and it is a fair uh, spinner. Okay, so the probability of this even number here should just be like uh, uh, maybe four hundred. Okay, so it should be a little bit far from this. So let's see. So if you want to get the probability of even here, so that would be number of even one. Okay, that is one over um, three. Then multiply by the number of times it was. Uh, spawn okay so it will be one two zero zero okay so three here one three in twelve so this will be four you can see that this is uh four hundred okay because you just have to divide it into three so it should be four hundred against eight hundred and look at this four hundred is a little bit far from this okay so that was the reason i said this will be the most likely okay so if you check this now the total is five okay and the number of even you have there is two you have two over five multiplied by one thousand two hundred so five year one five in twelve two you, you have two left you put it here that makes twenty five in twenty you have four okay then five in zero you have zero so two multiplied by uh, two hundred and forty so you see this will give you four hundred and eighty okay you can see that this one is very close to this compared to this so uh, the better option okay would be option d okay so question six here is a mapping diagram for the function y equals to 4 s squared okay so you have the input and the output respectively so we are asked to complete the mapping diagram with three different values okay so let's say this if you pass in uh, 10 into this so you should have y to be equals to 4 into 10 squared 10 squared is a um, hundred that will be 4 times 100 so you get 400 here so this is what you get here so and this one is the output here so that means y is equals to 100 then it's equals to 4 x squared. We need to find the value of uh, x. So let's divide both sides by 4. 4 cancel 4. Then 100 divided by 4. That will give us 25 equals to x squared. So we take square root of both sides. So this square will cancel the square root. So square root of 25 will be plus or minus 5. Okay, so that, that means we have two values from here. That will be minus 5 and positive 5 so negative 5 and positive 5 simply 5 so let's go to the next question that will be question um, 7 so here is a calculation 1.5 times 1.5 times 28 is equals to uh, a out of 2 times a out of 2 times 28 then it's equals to a multiplied by a multiplied by b find the value of a and the value of b okay so you need to firstly compare this and this because they look uh, they seem to be very similar. We have a number here, you have uh, something here, another one here, another one here, and 28, 28. So you can compare them. So by uh, comparison, so you see that, okay, let's do this. This is equal to this, okay, or you can say this is equal to this, okay, as 28. Is equals to 28 okay so what I will just write is a over 2 is equals to 1.5 so a will be equals to if you cross multiply 1.5 multiplied by 2 so a will be equals to 3 so that will be the value of a a is equals to 3 so to get the value of B so we need to compare uh, this okay let me clean this you need to compare this one okay that is compare this and this okay so uh, but you need to be very careful because they are not that uh, okay so there's no way we can say that a over 2 is equals to a over uh, a over 2 is equals to a okay so they are not uh, that equal so we need to 
write this such that they will not be uh, in the same uh, format okay so what we need to do is to uh, rewrite this so let's start by multiplying a by a okay so we're going to have a squared so you can easily multiply this and these two to get your answer okay then <coughs> let's firstly rewrite this okay that is uh, where you have a over 2 multiplied by a over 2 multiplied by 28 so we can rewrite this as a times a that will be a squared then over 2 times 2 4 then multiply by 28 so you can say 4 goes in 4 once 4 goes in 28 37 times as 4 times 7 gives 28 okay so what we can do so that means we have uh, this expression now okay is now equal to okay, let's demarcate this a to the power of 2 that is a squared multiplied by 7 then is equals to so if you multiply this one two by this one now we're going to have a squared okay multiplied by b so now you can now compare them now because they look alike now so from here so the value of b is equals to 7 okay so you can say b is equals to 7. so let's look into the last question in this part okay so carlos says uh previously owned cloth he will ask his customers one of these questions a or b question a on a scale of 1 to 10 what number would you choose to represent the condition of the cloth so you have the written there so question b which word or words would you would you choose to represent the condition of the cloth okay so uh, let's put a little bit Carlos wants to work out a mean value to represent the condition of the cloth tick this sign to show which question Carlos should ask okay uh, take this sign to show which question Carlos should ask his customers and the reason why. Okay, so if you look at this, so since you want to get uh, the mean value, this is very important. Okay, so uh, question A will, will be the correct option. It asks for quantitative data. Okay, so check this. So this will be the end of the solution to part one. So in the next uh, part, that is part two, we'll look into questions uh, nine to uh, 16. Until then, have your fingers crossed.